So how can you make this material at home easy as pie? First of all, you don't have to have these wooden boxes. You can buy slim plastic boxes or even make cardboard boxes and stick them together like this and write your numbers. Instead of these spindles, you could use pencils, you could use straws, you could use chopsticks. If you don't want to have it lying down, you can get empty toilet tissue rolls and stick them together again, zero to nine. And then you can have the same thing, straws or chopsticks or pencils or anything slim that you would like to put inside the boxes. I have seen some people do a variation where they have a form of a makeup roll up case. You know, uh, women out there who are into makeup, you have the cases for your brushes. So what they do is they make a case like that out of felt or out of cloth and they number them zero to nine. And then they slip in the straws or the chopsticks into each of the, the pouches. So that's an interesting way to do it and a good way to store your material as well because it rolls up and it ties and it combines some uh, practical life activities of ribbon activities in there too. I really hope you've enjoyed learning about this material and I hope that you try it out as well. If there's any material you'd like to learn about, any Montessori concept you'd like to know more about, leave me some comments below and I'm happy to come back and share with you so we all learn and grow. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.